hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to install my sql on a windows machine so just simply go into your browser I'm, I'm using brave in this case so just simply type in download my sql which is this right here and just press enter so yes uh, once you do that just simply go with the first very the very first link i just go with that, the very first link which is uh www.mysql.com forward slash downloads and then click on that okay so just click on it and it's going to go ahead and open up uh, this page right here so once this page is open up you can scroll to the very uh, bottom right here and then simply my sql community okay and then download just click on that and once you have that clicked uh, you can simply go ahead and click on installer for windows and press on that and once you uh, to bring you to this page and go ahead and click uh, on this go and click on this right at the bottom one which is windows uh times uh, 86 uh, 32 bits and then the, the one with the bigger size and then simply click on download and then simply so say uh, no thanks just start my download and that's going to go ahead and simply start the download of the executable so just simply say save and that's going to go ahead and start the download so just give it some time to uh, be able to download that file and once that file is downloaded i will show you how to set it up and then have mysql and also install workbench as along with my, your mysql okay so let's give it some time to uh, work on that yeah so as you can see uh, we are almost done installing this so let's give it some more time and once it's done we can begin to go ahead and install so let me just go uh, in here and try to find my file like open up my file explorer and then i think it's going to be in downloads folder okay so let's give it some more time for this to be downloaded open up this uh yeah it should be downloaded uh, pretty soon so my sql yeah it's downloaded i think i should see it right here okay if you if you don't see it you can just simply minimize this and just double click on this uh, it's also going to open up the installer so uh, let's give it some more time and once the installer is op opened up we can actually begin to work on it okay so looks like it's taking some more time okay so it's opening up so once it's open up uh, we need to install a couple of things let's just give this a uh, bit of more time to open up and you're just going to go ahead and say yes and uh, gather all the requirements and then please give a bit of time for that to be done okay again we go ahead and simply say yes again and you can see it's open up uh, it's opening up the installer so once it's done you can simply go ahead and say uh, to continue receiving the product catalog do you apply this upgrade uh, mandatory installer uh, let's just say yes and let's just uh, proceed with that okay so it's going to download the updates and once the updates are downloaded uh, let's see what comes up so it pops up again opens up so good so once it's open opens up here uh, we don't want to go ahead and do the developer default what you want to go ahead and do is the, do the custom install because uh, if you do that uh, the developer install is going to install a bunch of things that can be uh, unnecessary okay so let's go with custom install and then let us select exactly what to install so we want to install the mysql server so just uh, click on this arrow to add it to the site uh, na navigate down and then add it to the site right here and then also we want to go ahead and install my sql workbench so we're going to the application section and then my school workbench and then workbench this and then click on this and then add it to the install part and also we want to you want to install vs code we want to install my sql shell you can install the shell if you want and then simply go ahead and also add the shell to the install installer and also we want to go ahead and install a couple of connectors so we want to install uh the connector here so you can choose any connector that you want but basically uh, let's try to find the dot net connector uh, which is just what you want to install. you can add the dot net dot net connector if you want uh, you can also add other connectors the c plus plus the python and all the other connectors and also go to the documentation you want to install uh mysql documentation right here you can install the documentation and also we want to install some sample databases you can work on and some examples that you can see so you can also add those right there so we have the mysql server the mysql workbench the shell the dot net connector we have the uh, mysql documentation so have the sample uh samples and examples okay so once you have that done you can simply go ahead and um so once you have that done, you can simply go ahead and just click on next and then simply say execute and it's going to go ahead and install all of this that you have selected so just give it a bit of time and it's going to go ahead and install all of that for you uh one by one uh one after the other so let's give it some bit of more time to go uh, to run through those installations uh this installation is going to depend on how fast your internet is and uh, also your how fast your computer is okay like the how much processing power you have so let's give it a bit of time and the speed how, at how this install is going to depend depending on your well, internet speed as well okay good so you can see that once that's done you're going to go see me go ahead and click on next uh, then uh, click again on next again yeah so you can see it's going to be uh, running on local host at port uh, 3306 you can see all that port information and all that so we're just go ahead and click next leave everything to be default and then just go ahead and see, uh, go with next 
And then here we go ahead and set the password. So the most common password people use when setting up MySQL is just the root password. So just type in root R double O T. So R double O T, just like that. And after that, you can simply just go ahead and just simply click on next. And from there, you can just go ahead and uh, you can click on next. And then simply uh, yes, grant full access uh, to the database. Yeah, running my will also just click on yes. Uh, yes, basically, uh, just click on execute. So it's going to take a bit of time and uh, run all that uh, all that need that's needed, right? To start the development server and apply the security settings and all that. So let's give it a bit of time and uh, let's see once that's done. And once that's done, you can simply just go ahead and click on finish and then simply go ahead and click next. And then yeah, the password is going to be root, right? You're going to test in our network. So root, the R double O, and then simply check the network. So we are good to go and then click on next and then simply go ahead and simply say execute let's give you some bit of time to run the script and then you can click on finish and then simply next okay and then are you sure you want to cancel the the product this and then let me just say uh, no let me just see next uh, and then finish, and finish right here so once you click on finish i uh, guess give it a bit of time So now you can see we have this open up right here. So what is open up right here is my SQL workbench and you can see right here. So you can just click on this right here and type in the password which is just double uh, R double O T, right? The root and then simply press enter. And now it's going to open up my SQL workbench on your machine. So good. So once you have my SQL workbench open up, this is basically the, 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 the environment from which you'll be working on. Uh, I'll be working in throughout the whole uh, course. So you can see we have this, this this section right here, which is a query editor. We have the output section right here, and you have different section and look at all of them uh, as we go along. So basically, this is how to install and set up MySQL on a Windows machine. So that's all for this video. And if you want, you can actually just close this up, uh, close this up again, and then just minimize this. So I, I can even go here and just search for MySQL workbench and just simply, uh, let's say workbench. You can just type in workbench. Okay, workbench, MySQL workbench. There we go. So just click on that and then click on this local instance and then type in your password, which is just simply dar double O T and then press enter. So good. And it opens up. So good. That's how you can uh, set up MySQL on a Windows machine. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Keep safe.